Hello guys, welcome back to DNA Vlog. So today we will do a quick comparison of the two bags from Invictus. This is the tactical series. Of course, this is no more in sale, and this was a very old version. I think I have reviewed it uh, maybe three or four years back on my channel when Savio had bought it to me. Uh, he owned it previously. Then last year I had been to Maha Auto at Panvel at uh, Abhijit Bhai's workshop at store, and there I found this bag and I picked it up. And this is the new series from Stealth, uh, from Invictus. This is the Stealth series, which has got uh, many improvements, which will we, which we will talk about in this vlog. And uh, to purchase this new one, old bag is of course not available anywhere. So this, I leave the website link in the video description and also Instagram contact for Invictus if you have any additional questions. You know, if I've missed something. So to uh, begin with. Uh, both the inner capacity of both the bags is identical which is approximately 19 liters uh, when it is not expanded by the way this is an expandable uh, tail bag and both the bags almost open in the same way okay both the bags operate in the same way of course in the old both the versions you got some straps previously uh, you got a dust cover and in the new version you get a kind of a rain bag or a rain cover or an internal bag it's not a rain cover but an internal bag which can protect some of your materials inside you don't get a rain cover with this it's just a plain uh, rain uh, plain dust cover uh, this old one wall was not that strong or it didn't stay upright much longer or you know if someone would press this it will go inside but the new version they have improved this thing so if you're putting your delicate stuff like your cameras or your drones or something so they're not going to get affected easily because uh, Invictus has put some hard partitions inside which was not available in the older version then uh, if you look at it aesthetically this looks wider and this is slimmer why because Invictus has added two side pockets in the newer version okay which were absent in the tactical series plus uh, there was a small pocket on the front which has now been replaced with a backrest at the back you have the same pockets okay similar pockets where you can put your uh, rain bag or i mean your smaller bag uh, the inner bag you can wind it up and put it inside or put some other stuff in it but it gets a additional reflector for safety purpose all the corners had a reflected piping or you know it was protected by some pvc but now uh, as Invictus has improved its saddle bags also and given you know much better protection at the corners this has been carried forward on the stealth series uh, tail bag too so that's the major difference now we will keep this old bag aside and Let's look into the detailed, you know, what all stuff is there inside this bag. So let us quickly look inside the space. Uh, so Invictus has now given two additional pockets inside too, which were missing in the older version. Uh, you get a pocket on the, on the flap where you can keep your papers and all. This is there in the previous version too. Uh, then I said they have added a backrest over here, which was absent in the older version. You get a name tag on the upper pocket and the upper pocket size if you just want to look at it uh, I'm putting kind of two phones inside of course one phone is getting is being used because I'm recording from that and this is the side, size of the top pocket this is the size of the top bigger pocket and here too we have a smaller pocket where you can keep your socks or any additional stuff and the total capacity is quite big if you can see almost my hand is gone inside so now coming to the side pockets that Invictus has given us in this bag so you got a neck pocket again over here you can keep your stuff some stuff over here like your mask face mask or something else memory cards or something like that something slimmer and if you have if you want to carry tools around you can use this uh, you know elastic given over here where you can uh, put the, put them inside and travel along so that uh, your toolkit is placed properly and doesn't you know it doesn't get tossed around 
similar uh, facility is given on this side and plus both the flaps on left and right get this straps so that your bag doesn't open uh, your flap doesn't open beyond certain limit now by default the uh, internal capacity unexpanded is 19 liters and uh, the overall unexpanded capacity is 26 liters that is 6 liters is 1 2 3 4 5 pockets and uh, idly a 14 inch laptop is a easy fit inside but this is my 15 inch laptop and this also can slide in and go inside of course this is without any cover right now any protection sleeve right now but if you have a sleeve uh, over your 14 inch laptop it will easily go inside i don't have a 14 inch laptop so i'm showing you 15 inch and why a 15 inch can go inside because if you look at the uh, length at the bottom of the bag it is quite big so this is where your 15 inch laptop easily goes inside and plus if you want to put a helmet inside or if you want to expand your bag uh, you can unzip from bottom and expand your bag so this is how I put my helmet a Nikko full size helmet with my you know motor blocking camera up front and that's my blue armor over here so everything can go inside this bag very easily shut the cover off okay. easily zip it up and you can carry it around uh, of course I did not remove the base of the bag which is used to mount it on the uh, on the bike uh, when you expand it this is like 5 inches and I think the total capacity over here then becomes approximately 40 liters or something which I'll confirm in some time but when you expand it you also get a reflective you know safety tape all around the bag so you're very easily visible for the traffic around helmet also used to fit inside the older bag and that, this one also used to expand but this did not have any reflective part over here now to mount this bag as a tail bag or as a tank bag uh, you get this base flap from Invictus mind you this is a very rough and tough uh, flap and this is going to be facing your tank so if you're using this bag as a tank bag make sure you put a nice soft cloth between the tank and the flap so that this this particular base flap does not scratch your tank so Invictus has given multiple mount points on this for your bag to stick and stay on your flap and then it has given four mount points over here which you can use to stick it or mount it on your bike so let's start with assembly over here i'm not going to show it to you on the bike because the video is going to get stretched out we got uh, velcro at the base too and you can stick the base like this it's going to get base is going to get stuck to your uh, bag and then later on you can uh, you know put in all the straps and buckles once all your straps from all four sides you know, Invictus has given four straps and buckles on four sides so once this is secured properly okay, over here also by the way Invictus has given a handle to hold the bag also you can move it around like this uh, once these four straps are done once these four buckles are done okay, you tighten all the distances okay. mind you uh, on your bike uh, your seat is going to be somewhere here and your flap is going to get tightened like this and that's why uh, these buckles are a little low lying it is below the level over here and uh, the flap is kind of broader than the bag because this is going to bend on your bike somewhat like this so in this buckles okay how are you going to secure your bag on the bike you get these kind of uh, straps so what you can do is uh, in your saddle stay or your rear footrest or your chassis somewhere you can lock these up somewhat like this okay and then put this buckle out here okay 
and adjust its length so this way your bag is going to be your base is going to be secured everywhere and similar mounts are given on all four sides so you can have this buckles and straps put on your chassis and every time when you want to take the bag off you can just buckle and remove the straps and let the base be on the bike itself and you can just carry the bag now when you want to use this backpack uh, this tail bag as a backpack when you park the bike and you're traveling around in a mall or you've gone to some nice location so you can remove the buckles from here remove the backpack strap from here you no know, lock it up and uh, you can adjust the height also from here okay you can adjust the height from here and you can wear it at the back side of course my left and right are non balanced so this is going to look a bit weird adjust it quickly and your backpack is ready for usage for you to move around if you have a helmet inside it is going to be a bit out obviously uh, let me show it to you very quickly with the helmet inside in my old bag dimensions are almost similar so it is going to be like this and trust me it is much better to carry the helmet like this than in your hand or something it feels pretty light it doesn't feel heavy uh because this is got very soft straps and all so that were the usage and quick specifications about uh, this new bag from tail bag from invictus stell series uh let me know if you have any questions put them in the comments i'll try to answer them at the earliest and if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button if you're new on my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button thanks for watching see you in a new video very soon